Eight. Let's move on to some football next. An Aimba football club coach and former Super Eagles star Finidi George has expressed his disappointment at the way his team lost in Nigeria Professional Football League Super Cup title to shooting stars of Ibado on Friday at the Mubalaji Johnson Arena in Lagos. The Ababe side went up twice but were pegged back on both occasions by the Ibadan based club, who then went on to grab the winner and claim the 100 million naira prize money up for grabs with a 3 2 win. Playing Afro Sports more, correspondent uh, Tayo Ogunse was there and he sends in this report. Playing before an appreciable crowd at the 5,000 capacity Mobolaji Johnson Arena, Onikon in Lagos. The duel between two Nigeria Professional Football League heavyweights, Aimba Football Club and shooting stars of Ibadan, pulled an appreciable crowd. Both traditional sides earned their places in the final of the NPFL Dozi Umobosi Super Cup after they emerged as the top two in a round-robin championship, which includes Enugu Rangers and Bendel Insurance. The mini-tournament is meant to serve as a precursor to the new 2022-2023 season whose kickoff date is yet to be decided by the interim management committee. Six minutes into the match, Fatai Abdullahi put Aimba ahead. But the lead was short-lived as midfielder Taufik Malamon pulled shooting stars on level seven minutes later. Again, the people's elephant pulled their weight and muzzled themselves into the lead through Eze Ekutoziam in the 30th minute. In the second half, the Ibadan boys restored parity through former Aimba player Kelly Kester in the 60th minute. While everyone was expecting a penalty to separate the pair at the time ticked away, shooting stars pulled a final trick from their heart as Antonio Okachi scored the winner in the 87th minute to keep the title and the 100 million naira prize money away from Aimba and send their own fans into rapture. <laughs> It wasn't a magic, um, uh, it's just the spirit of wanting to come here to prove a point and uh, to really see the strength of the team. And uh, thank God, uh, like I told the players, it's not a do or die affairs. All you need to do is go there and express yourself. Let's see how much we are ready. And uh, the tournament is a good one for us. With this kind of a tournament, my prayer is that the league kick off in a very short period. Because, uh, you know, uh, going back, relaxing, uh, the tournament will mean nothing to us again. I can't describe how I feel tonight. Uh, it's been a long time I've been so happy like this. Uh, because we prepared so well for this competition. And the end of the day, we got the desired result. And I'm so happy. Yeah, it's uh, quite disappointing, you know, because of the result. But I think the boys, they did well. We had our, our chances to have scored before the third goal. But we didn't take it, and then that's football for you. If you miss some chances, and then the opponent uh, capitalize on the one they have, um, yeah, uh, we didn't even have time to react uh, because the, the game was we almost played. It was like uh, 43 minutes before the score that goes. So um, it's quite a, a painful one for the boys, but uh, we must commend them playing football every day for four days. Um, it's not easy, but um, that's. Um, that's how it is. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I feel bad because this was, uh, it wasn't what we were expecting. We were leading by a goal and all of a sudden, they scored 1-1 one, one, and we came behind to score 2-1. And I think the second half, we didn't put in all our best. We were just trying to protect, to defend ourselves and at the end of the day, we lost the game. We definitely start from uh, any time in this December because it's going to be 2022-2023 Premier League. And by the grace of God, people with Nigerians will see a lot of changes. And uh, that's why we're taking our time to see that we we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we we'll pick things. We picked things, uh, to, we picked Ableton, right, to see that uh, Ableton were good to do at least. To a certain extent, we try to make sure we, we, we try to, to, to uh, pick certain things that we know are uh, some impediments that are in the league. 
and uh, thank God we are getting response of the sponsor and they are ready to partner with us. You have seen what happened today. Just a full uh, team tournament, the winner has gone home with 100 million naira. While the league has no kick-off dates yet, many expect the leadership to meet the required standard needed to create a league Nigerians can be proud of. From the, from the Mobolaji Johnson Arena, Lagos, Tayo Ogunshe reporting for Afrosport.